All right, welcome everyone. Resemblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Nana, Nana episode two. two. Nana right. and Nana. Mm-hmm. Living down, together. Down, down, down. By the Nana. Nana. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. They're right. living together. Yep. Uh, two polar opposites. Two very different people. Mm-hmm. Um, one with uh, baggage and the other giving the... You know, appearance of, of, of baggage and stuff. Indeed, indeed. Yeah. You know what they say about opposites. They attract. Yeah, exactly. But right now, uh, Nana is in a relationship and a, like a, a pretty good one at that. You know, like it's it's got it's it's got its rough patches to it, but like yeah, my meta no, brain no can't, glaring issues. Yeah, my, my meta brain can't get you know out of the 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 actual gutter in terms of how things are going to go versus yeah. just accepting how they are now. Uh-huh. And being yeah, like, exactly. Right now yeah. things are rough, but okay. <laughs> yeah, she's here. This is she's what here. she wanted. Yep. Maybe not exactly how he wanted it. Right, but She's, you uh, know, always fun. We love missed expectations, and we exactly, love, uh, we love when expectations aren't communicated. Yeah, 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 yeah. I am, I am very excited for the drama of this story, but I'm also very excited for the music side of this story mm. to be explored. So, yeah. yeah, y'all. Without further ado, let's get into this. I was three brothers, all right, backstory time. Yeah, okay, so maybe I have only seen the first episode. Thinking. Ah, uh, so it wasn't his. So, so well, interesting. Huh. Oh. Oh, this changes everything! Oh, oh my god! Shit. Wait! Oh shit. Okay, so maybe there's been more communication post this. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Mm-hmm. So this is okay. I still got the ring. Okay, okay, cool. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, how old is he? How old is he? Wait, hold on. Huh? Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Wow, this changes everything. Yeah. yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Ah. <laughs> right, right. So then, how did you find current guy? とうとう彼に出会ってしまったのです。君どうしたんだ？大丈夫？オッケー。ガチャ。かっこ二十九歳、かっこ年。今思うと決めかもしれないし、年も差ば読んでたかもしれないけど、一目惚れでした。Oh gosh. たし、この通り沿いのファミレスでバイトしてるんですけど、よかったら今度来てください。俺に何かおごりますから。それから2週間、彼は現れず。I <笑><笑> はあ。愛されているって信じてた。だけど私は彼のことは携帯の番号くらいしか知らなくて。Oh and you met someone who wasn't a teacher. つまりあんたはここに男あさりに来たわけね。え、ニューヘアスタイル。いやいや。初めに絵の勉強がしたくて、それは良かった。どう見てもその髪型じゃ男にモテそうにないもんね。ダメ。この学校でね、同い年の子
Just watching past you. Oh my god. Okay, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Another loud friend. <laughs> yeah. He's tall. Yeah. Like if she tiptoed, I don't think she'd come up to his shoulder. She's like, up. Oh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Hopeless. ジョージ君は純ちゃんの持ち歌だもんね。横取りしたくないから安心して。持ち歌あんたなんか勘違いしてない月がある初だよ絶対。あ、clearly。中学の時は男友達なんていっぱいいたし、いちいち惚れたり
See, it's all in her head. Once she puts the title on it, then... <sighs> that definitely does seem like her, though. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Careful. Ow! Ah! Mm, mm, and that went all the way through. Oh, okay. She's she's fine. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. That's a very cool yeah. way to connect those two things. Mm -hmm. Wow, she connected that really, yep. really quickly. That's awesome. Yeah, with how, like, kind of hopeless she's been this episode so far, I'd... I didn't I mean, expect her yeah, to. Yeah, like she's she's been through some shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Just it'll heal quickly. Just take care of it. Ne,小姐。恋の傷はどうすれば治るかな。え?恋?私はね、やっぱり新しい恋をするしかないと思うの。どうも。Oh. I think that sounds like a yes. great idea. Hmm. Help me find a guy that I can get into a relationship with. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, my. Holy God. shit. Oh, <laughs> well, people will wear suits there. I mean, maybe not a Japanese club, potentially. I don't know. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah. That that hurt. That definitely hurt. Yeah. I have the C D just to serenade mm -hmm. us to yep. sleep. I can't believe we went all the way back here. Yeah. Like this and, is and it quite didn't wrap flashback. it up with this episode. Like I was expecting it to be something where it's the oh, this is the story of how she met you know, Shoji and, like, how they got into a relationship and then the, like, you know, he goes to Tokyo and stuff. But, no, it's, it was more about all the other baggage that she's collected along the way because right. she's desperate for affection. All right, all right. backstory. Yeah. And this <laughs> adds so much context onto things here. Yes. Nana is not just a ditz and someone that's loud and talks incessantly mm -hmm. and has a bit of a scatterbrained, just overall chaotic personality. Uh, she's been looking for love in all the wrong places. Mm -hmm. But you know what? At least she's looking and she hasn't given up. Yep. And finding Shoji might have been the best thing to happen to her uh -huh. because the way this started off was all out of order and kind of uh, throwing us yep. into some weird areas where we're worried about the actual like uh, capability of her to even determine what love is mm -hmm. because she was um, definitely taken advantage of by an older married man. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. as and, a high schooler. And then and then the, I love, I love how uh, much importance she attributed to the little crushes from uh -huh. like the, right. oh, the pizza delivery guy and you know, the and none of them were actual relationships. None of them were actual relationships. None and so it's something where she, she has never actually got, oh fuck. She's like, never fully gotten over the ways in which Asano Takashi kind of f fucked her basically. Well, right, but also just. In more that, than one. That was probably the uh, best example she had in her mind of what a relationship was. It was the only example. It was the only example. The only and example. So, and so that's why Shoji and her being in a relationship with him is so important, mm -hmm. even though, let's be real, it's not going to last, right? Yep. But yep. but it it's it's an actual relationship. <laughs> it is an actual and relationship. And it is actually a good one. We're building a friendship first. Yeah, yeah. We, we built the friendship first, mm -hmm. and while we see the conflicts from the first episode mm -hmm. and the you know, ways in which they want different things and maybe there isn't proper understanding of exactly why, right. for instance, her being able to be domestic with Shoji when he went to Tokyo mm -hmm. is so important to her because right. Asano ditched her and went to Tokyo. She was never able to do domestic things with Asano because they mm -hmm. weren't in an actual relationship. Nope. And so then Shoji just wanting that, that, uh, space and independence and things like that is something that is a lot harder for her to do right and so yeah that that absolutely makes sense and mm -hmm. because because um a cut like this will heal quickly 
It can, but if it doesn't, it'll get infected. It'll it'll get infected, and so you need to take care to of it. And yeah, it needs to be addressed quickly. Exactly. So, Azuno Takashi, twenty nine years old, definitely a lie. Mm-hmm. That she kind of determined that in the out of order, kind of non linear aspects of the story when she was thinking back on it. Yep. Um, but also the idea that his name is probably also a lie. The idea that he was a married man mm-hmm. taking, um, or at the very least engaged, um, taking advantage of a high school girl's, you know, mm-hmm. just uh, naivete and uh, yep. it, not really knowledgeable about the way um, relationships work and stuff. Um, had sex with her many times in yeah. uh, love hotels, which is very much the, hey, this is going to be a way in which I can do this privately mm-hmm. and discreetly, and no one's going to bat an eye at right. it. Um, but she was clearly in high school. Um, regardless of talks of the legality of it, it is um, yes. it is absolutely predatory in nature. Yeah. Um, the details of it being altered over the course of time by Nana's um, emotions and memories and it, just experience with it uh, being contrasted with her current stuff changing, I think is really important to get mm-hmm. into because that is a very real thing. Like she might have actually been uh, assaulted in the in the literal sense, but she didn't really understand what was going on at the time. And it's only now as she's maybe starting to realize what love is, that it's the oh, shit, that everything was associated with that guy is a lie. And for some reason, I don't like thinking about mm-hmm. it when I'm actually able to process my feelings about it because being drunk removes the inhibition. So she's, sure. her yeah. actual true feelings came right. out in that moment. And it's the, no, don't touch me. Don't. Yeah. And it's there like, were, oh fuck. There yeah. were so many, there were so many lines from this episode that were like right on the nose. Mm-hmm. The idea of one, Nana, yes. Treating this like a wound of the heart. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. That's a great way to Absolutely, look at it. Right. Yeah. You know, cause, cause that's, that is what happened. Mm-hmm. Two, the bit where she's like, I just need to bury that pathetic part of myself down deep. It's like, Oh fuck, oh, girl! No. That's that's not gonna help you. No, nope. like like it, you know. Uh, that that might help you for a little bit if you're in a situation where you actually just cannot deal with the circumstances. Mm-hmm. But you know, <laughs> I'll just take this thing, shove it into the wound, and close it up. Yeah. Um. No disinfect it, because ow, 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 that hurts. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I don't think that thing you shoved in there was medicine. Um, yeah. That... <sighs> but hey, you know what? <sighs> you know what? With where the story inevitably leads to, um, mm-hmm. she'll get to look at um, another Nana who yes. maybe took things in a different direction. And mm-hmm. there'll be things that they can learn from each other. Oh, yeah. So for now, we get to meet Shoji. Mm-hmm. And what do you know? He's... Shoji's all right. Yeah. Shoji's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Clearly a bit horny in the pants for just like, yeah, let's do this right, relationship right. thing. The and whole then, the whole five or ten girlfriends in high school thing, you know. Right, right. Yeah. Now, in some ways, that actually was counteracted by the fact that she's like, and I'll go find a guy. And he's like, oh, like what? No, yeah. no, I was right. meaning me. Uh-huh. So in that respect, they're both holding themselves back from being, or they're both being held back by each other to be in an actual full relationship or they're both being held back by not it, it's right, a lot to, of ways to get off to the best start. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Which is, which is good. Mm-hmm. Um, given that he does end up going to Tokyo, that could be something that brings up a lot of the feelings mm-hmm. of, oh, yeah. with Asuna, and, though. and it could absolutely be something where, you know, maybe that side of him that she is now, uh, you know, seeing that she, you know, is uncomfortable for her, right? Uh-huh. That could be potentially because of how needy she was in the relationship because she finally actually had something that's good. And so then, you know, of of course, of course that would be something where then the, the uh, all the signals that have been given bad signals before, basically, right? Once you finally start getting something that's good, of course you'd you'd be you'd be spamming that endorphin button right like you know you would you would want as much of that as you could possibly get and i could see it end up being something that kind of was smothering maybe but i don't can know can you get a little bit more into what you're talking about cuz you're basically saying in simpler terms that he left because he was being um demanded of more than what he was actually willing to give yeah and i don't think that's necessarily the case i think the idea that he just 
went there for as a as a part of his you know career etc you know things like that uh -huh. but then it's a school choice yeah yeah exactly and then maybe maybe realized once there was that distance of oh this is this is kind of nice and so then when she comes back it's the okay yeah but let's have some you know let's have some boundaries of you getting your own place getting a job and things like that and mm -hmm. um like i i feel like i understand where that would be coming from from shoji and and it can be a situation where it goes badly for nana but not because like shoji's a terrible person if that makes mm -hmm. sense right it's the yeah. it's the regular you know yeah well i don't think this is the kind of story right now where we're having any terrible people being directly kind of um, like present in the, the story. story. Yeah. 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 Asano is a figure that mm -hmm. is at least in the past, but he is not actually a character yet. He's right. just a, he's just a nebulous face at the moment mm -hmm. that could be brought up at some point later for more drama. But right sure. now, what we're still learning is Shoji's decisions that led to them being in a relationship are the focus mm -hmm. of the story right now. And Nana being not focused on developing the relationship with Shoji, we're going to have to see the way in which she either diverts attention back towards Shoji or mm -hmm. Shoji kind of provides an attractive enough image that she yeah. then, you know, by extension goes back towards, uh, uh, mm -hmm. towards him. And if we, and if we get a story that takes its time to develop their relationship before we go back to Tokyo and the present time, I mean, that, that'd be impressive. Yeah. I, I would be, I'd be really impressed if we actually had, a few episodes focused entirely mm -hmm. on that because then it's leaving that. our other Nana um, just high and dry in the story for uh -huh. now. Like, that's, oh yeah, that yeah. feels really weird. That's as that, a, that as is a ballsy decision. decision. And yet, because like you know, we know that this this show has forty seven episodes, right? That that also forty three or forty seven. Yeah, yeah, forty three or forty seven, somewhere around there. That that does feel kind of nice of the idea of yeah, if we're going to get into you know a present circumstances you know with relationships and things like that and all the conflicts there and Let's remember this is not not a finished story either. right so it's, yeah exactly pacing has nothing to do with the episode count. Uh, totally absolutely yeah, yeah um yeah if anything it's the you know theoretically it would have been you know who knows how many yeah. um but having this foundation so that we can know exactly how important it is to nana mm -hmm. to to find love and what it means to her and you know what her current understanding of it is and and mm -hmm. the 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 bumps and scrapes that she's gotten along the way that yeah. I'm sure will inform a lot of the the well uh, she approaches it yeah 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 she's obviously healed little bit by little bit we see a person that is still you know vivacious full of life and just mm -hmm. and jubilant and excited yep but we also see the same scatterbrained not thinking things through uh, mm -hmm. rose-colored lenses of life and also people um, at, in the conversation with the other Nana and the train. So yeah. a lot of things did not change with our Nana. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to have to see how Shoji's influence in that was effective or not effective. Right. Because we want to hope that Nana found love with Shoji. Mm -hmm. Because that's where this conflict is set up, is that Nana doesn't know what love is. Right. So she's going to go find a guy to mm -hmm. heal her love issues. That's not how this works. No. Sorry. Your your issues yeah. are your issues. You can only save yourself. Um, right. You can do a lot to use other things as a means to point you back to yourself and mm -hmm. where the cuts and scrapes are so that you yeah. can go, oh, I got hurt here. At this point in time, mm -hmm. right there, that that hurt me. Yeah. Okay, how do I bandage that? I don't know. I'm not you. Oh. Okay. Fuck. Well. Okay. Now I've got to. Ow. You know. Like, right. right. That's exactly. literally what we're we're going for. So yeah. I liked that the first point of genuine sweet hand holding and mm -hmm. adorable interaction here of the snip. Ow. Is that him basically saying, "Yeah, I can put the bandage and the antiseptic, you know, antiseptic mm -hmm. over you." And that will, at the very least, harm the basic right. physical stuff. I can protect you, mm -hmm. but I can't heal your emotional needs and all that. Exactly. Like, that's, yeah. That's going to take time that's and concerted effort from you. And exactly. And and the level of of um, care, I, I almost wanted to say caution, but that's not the right mm. word. 
but a level of care that she has not displayed thus far. Right. The fact that the cut was like, you you know, we got the connection from the cut to the, um, uh, you know, the wound of the heart. Absolutely. Uh -huh. But the cut was also something that happened because of her, her own not paying attention. And, yeah, right. Lack and, of awareness. And, yeah. Yeah. And because she was so caught up with the, you know, the, the rose tinted glasses and everything. <laughs> yeah. Looking at the guy. Yeah. Shoji. Huh. Ow. Ow. Right. Like that's, it's, that's it's poetry. It's it poetry. Is. Right. Yeah. You know? And so, and so the idea that then, Hey girl, let's get you to the point where, where you can, where you can be like, Oh, that's really nice. But also let's make sure I'm not hurting myself. You know, right. that's yeah. 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 Uh, I love Junko being in her life. Mm -hmm. um, Junko and Kiyosuke was the most obvious, like, Mm -hmm. Oh, do you mind if I leave her here? I'm like, yeah, you don't yeah. mind at all, do you? And oh, she's yeah. Like that man with his sexy voice, mm -hmm. and the way, like, Damn. like the, or rather, the first thing that we were shown as far as the established communication between the two. Where do you live? No, but like, where exactly? <laughs> like, yeah. like, you live close by. Yep, I and by that old grocery store over there. And oh, one of the things that I it. that I loved about that is it was an example of where two healthy adults yeah. were able to have some fun. Very soon right yes. <laughs> and yet very positive experience for them they have a great mm -hmm. relationship and all that stuff and so it's like just yeah i <laughs> take it back nana yeah take it back it's gonna take time but take it will it take time yeah yeah i also very much loved the general way in which nana's energy mm -hmm. was maybe contrasted with junko's but this way in which junko while kind of dissing her a bunch because it's the oh my god nana like i can't yeah. with you uh -huh. it, it didn't stop nana like it nana right. wasn't pulled down by it I, exactly. I feel like in a lot of ways she's she's like bumper lanes in a bowling alley yeah for yeah nana. nana's just like yeah where'd it go <laughs> a strike Woo! Yeah, three lanes that like, way yeah. like no it's the no it's the it went down the lane but it's the bruised and battered Junko was like, yep, yep, you got a strike. Yep, I, I did yeah. my best. Right. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> nope, I'm not getting any thanks. Okay, you're going straight to Shoji. Yep, that that's cool. Yep, mm -hmm. I got you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the way, the, <laughs> the like, this show, this show is so on the nose with some of the things that it does where it's like the, okay, but you can't just go and bounce back into an, another immediate relationship. Oh my God, that boy's so cute. Yep. Like, yeah. Oh, it's a, it's a wild, wild world. And yep. uh, this story is very much giving us the, the true exploration of a manic, just wild uh -huh. high school girls, you know, journey into adolescent, uh, into adulthood. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm very excited to get this unhinged character's journey through life that eventually leads to her uh, connecting rather closely with her, uh, yeah, with, with her, her, uh, her other her namesake, you know, yeah, 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 yeah exactly. exactly. And then the way that Nana, with how she's been established so far, and all the stuff, you know, maybe of a similar sort of backstory, you know, delving into and all that stuff that we'll get with her, mm -hmm. and how the the two of them will connect with just how different they are. <laughs> I, I'm waiting for the they're actually not so different. There's a yeah. couple things about them that are mm. actually very similar, mm. and it's more just that different uh, responses to things, different responses, but also that uh, our Nana is just not as mature in the way of handling a lot of those things. Sure, um, probably just hasn't been forced to face the consequences of her actions as much. Mm. Yeah, um, I can but, see that. Yeah. All right. But y'all, thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. You can get on early access there. You can watch full length timer reactions there. And all this comes with Discord access. So you can chat with us in the community there about this show, about anime in general. And also be sure to check out my Baldur's Gate 3 Let's Play on Twitch. And if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.